we have with us on the broadcast this evening, former Indian cricketer Saba Karim. Saba, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, tell us which, according to you, was the best ball bowled by Bumrah on the night? Well, Rika, incredible performance from Bumrah. <clears throat> but in terms of value, I'll put Andre Russell wicket uh, because one knows the kind of firepower Andre Russell has. And if, and if Bumrah had not taken uh, Andre Russell in that wicket in that over, he may have gone on to uh, play some important, uh, play some important, uh, gather some more important runs for his side. Mm -hmm. But in terms of sheer quality, it has to be Nitish Rana. Nitish was a set player, batted very well, was batting on 40 odd. And for Bumrah to uh, to get rid of Nitish Rana and the way he bowled that delivery, it required precision. It required um, a kind of speed and well direction and and, and well directed bouncer to Nitish Rana. Uh, he actually caught him by surprise. Mm -hmm. So I felt that um, Nitish Rana's dismissal was was vitally important for um, for Mumbai Indians and also for Jasprit Bumrah. That actually helped him to get into that role. Mm -hmm. And from there, uh, he kick started the and uh, he picked yeah. up um, yeah, that five wicket haul. Sabha, you spoke about Andre Russell's wicket and how it was crucial for Bumrah to get that wicket given. Uh, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, batting that Russell can display. Would you say that uh, the way he set up Andre Russell, not just the delivery in which he got Russell, but the previous one was uh, phenomenal? Yeah, because, you know, Bumrah realizes very well that, um, you know, Bumrah is the kind of player who will definitely go after him. And uh, to bowl that hard length is not so easy to Andre Russell because he is such a... Uh, he has that stature at the wicket that he can mm -hmm. cover different kind of lengths. And once you get into that kind of a length uh, from where uh, Andre Russell can hit you to, to different parts of the, of the ground, it is very important to have that kind of uh, discipline. And for him to come back and bowl that delivery to Andre Russell uh, really uh, uh, was excellent to watch. Uh, beat him by speed, beat him by length. And that is what is required when you have to get rid of a player like Andre Russell. Because in the last death overs, mm -hmm. Andre Russell is such, an, such a dangerous player. And uh, for Bumrah to come back um, and have that, have that right kind of idea and to bowl with that kind of, um, of accuracy is not so easy. I'll have to ask you here, he came back after bowling just one over and then 10 overs had been bowled uh, in between. To hit that Yorker at the pace he did, what does it say of his mental and physical space? Long time coming, I would say that, Rika, because one expects Bumrah to fire all the time. And I think that is why Bumrah is such a champion bowler in all three formats of the game. Um, uh, he has done that um, so many times before this as well. But for him to, um, to come to, um, to bowl this kind of length and to pick up this five-wicket haul speaks volume of his character. Because so far in all the IPL games which he has played, he, has only, he had only picked up five wickets. So for him to come back and deliver such a stellar performance um, speaks highly of, um, of Bumrah. Um, so um, not only with the new ball, but also uh, with the kind of um, after the 10th over for him to bowl with that kind yeah. of uh, firepower and that kind of speed. Um, uh, it, was, it was quite heartening to uh, see Bumrah uh, come up with that kind of, uh, of an over, Rita. You, you mentioned about the final over, the way he served up a cocktail of short balls and Yorkers, giving away just one run. How would you really describe the way you know, he bowled that final over to uh, you know, restrict Kolkata? I get the impression, uh, Marika, that once um, he has this kind of confidence, um, he can bowl at will, at will, whatever length he chooses to bowl to. And I think for Bumrah, because um, he's, he's such an intelligent bowler, for him to bowl the right ball to the right batter, mm -hmm. um, that requires um, some kind of, um, of visualization. And I think Jaspreet Bumrah can do that quite easily. And for that to happen on a regular basis, um, uh, um, he, it, 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 it's so it's so important for him to have that kind of confidence, mm -hmm. and that is what I could I could I could see in the last over that he bowled. Um, all the deliveries were well worked out, well thought of mm -hmm. before he delivered such deliveries, and he also realized the kind of shots the batter would uh, would play against him. And so mm -hmm. for him to um, to come up with that kind of a, um, a superb over uh, was wonderful to watch. Sabha, one final question. Even though Kolkata won, would you say this by far is one of the most significant performances in this IPL? Yeah, from Bumrah's uh, point of view, yes. Um, from his perspective, it was good to see him come back. He hasn't had uh, a brilliant season so far. Mm -hmm. um, but even after the IPL, there's some important games coming up leading right. up to the World Cup T20. So it is very important for Bumrah to uh, strike form at the right time. 
Um, so yeah, I think in the past several years that he has played IPL and even T20 international games, I think this has to be uh, the number one on the list. So overall, good news for his team Mumbai Indians, though they have no chance of making the playoffs. And for Team India, that looks ahead to a very important year of the T20 World Cup. Thank you very much, Sabah, for joining us on the broadcast. Pleasure, Rick.